That's pretty wet, as expected. Shannon's gonna go get his car, we're gonna go to Hungry Jack's for breakfast. How are you feeling, boys? Optimistic. <laughs> Cautiously optimistic. How'd you sleep, big fella? Uh, In the grand ridges of the bend. Didn't, didn't sleep much at all. He, okay. he was worried about me driving the wet. Yeah. Aww. Super worried. <laughs> this with a bit of a divine intervention it's sunny and it's looking like it's actually going to be clear for most of the day how freaking good is that so the radar looks like it's going to um, dry up and we probably won't get the next band of rain until maybe 4 30 which is after our, after our races so hell yes track's really wet though we're getting out and do a practice and Aaron and I are going to do a mock driver change so I'm going to go out and do three hot laps come in do a proper driver change you know time it everything like that and then uh, Aaron will jump in the car, he'll go out, do the last few laps, call it, and then he'll sort of know how the car's handling. At the moment we are set up kind of wet because the track is very wet. Um, and then yeah, after that we just um, get ready for first qualifying. And we may have to go back to a dry setup. So, see what happens, but pretty excited to do this in the dry and not in the wet. Nice. And here's my biggest stuff up for the whole weekend. Unfortunately, the night before I set up my 360 camera to do a time lapse of the sunrise, and then forgot to turn it back to video mode. So I have no 360 footage of the whole race day and I am bummed. It is what it is. Anyway, we've still got GoPros in the car and we'll just uh, skip through to the fun parts. So honestly, my practice session did not go well. I don't know why, I just did not feel comfortable in the car. The track was wet but I've driven in the wet before it was sort of a combination of wet and grippy I just I didn't know what the car was going to do I didn't feel comfortable and it really sucked I was driving terribly um, I handed the car over to Aaron and you know, Aaron said the car was all right so it was very much me but yeah I mean look at this I I kept getting it sideways I was pushing too hard when I shouldn't have and then not pushing hard enough when I could have it was just dumb I don't know but we handed the car over to Aaron and he went out and um, yeah he did all right. But this was a good test driver change to see, um, yeah, see if we could do it. And we did it well within time. It's drying up. So a few of the corners are really dry, but by that sweeper, number four, it's still quite slick. So take it easier in there, okay? Some of the corners are fully dry already, and then the big sweep around falls wet, so you kind of a bit screwy around there. That's all good. I think it's gonna, as long as it doesn't rain again, we'll kind of think it will. We should have a dry track though. So, anyway, we'll see what Aaron thinks of the car when he comes back in.
shining, it's definitely warming up, so. No, it should be good. We'll put you out for qualifying, and so I'm gonna fill the car up, well, put some more fuel on it. And it's gonna get suited up and then drop me back straight out to qualifying for him. So he's qualifying for me, and I'll go qualify for him. Good times. Come on, boys, let's go! for him so the track sounds like it's dried right up so that's good because I was not confident in the way. Let's give it a go. Alrighty here we go my qualifying session. See what happens. To follow the trend from practice, I was still driving terribly. Um, we weren't too sure what was gonna happen with the weather. We did actually have the wet tires on the back and I think that may have caused a lot of dramas. Um, you'll see coming up soon, I got very sideways a lot of times. I was pushing corners the same speed as I had the day before, but for some reason I just couldn't keep the damn thing on the road. The back kept stepping out. So yeah, I think we tweaked the settings on the car a bit just in case the track was a bit wet and I just could not get it to grip. It was probably a lot to do with my driving, but yeah, it was, it was the back was coming out all the time, uh, as you'll see coming up. Really disappointed because I had to hand this time over to Aaron as this was his race start placement. And yeah, it, it wasn't good and I was a bit, dis I was very disappointed to be honest. So sorry, Aaron. spinning my car. Can't you drive? <laughs> refueling station at the bend. They've actually got a fully unmanned fueling station. You come up, you tap your card, you select your pump, and then you just fill it up. And they've got 95, ELF 102 race fuel, and E85. It's pretty sick. We don't have any of this. We've got something, we 
Wellington's got like a fuel shop. It's really expensive. This is like cheaper than the BP over there. So it's, it's unreal. Very well organized place this. Anyway, we're just filling this up, ready for the first race. I'll be starting. Um, yeah, we've done a few tweaks now. We've put the, the dry tires back in the back. We've done some suspension tweaks and hopefully it should feel a bit better because I was just struggling with it then. Um, also, the guys did mention that we had a full tank of fuel, so extra weight in the back of the car. Something I didn't consider, so just be aware of that. But let's go out and try and I don't know, run some decent numbers. Get a hand car of Darren and you can go send it. Um, go, mate. Cheers, bro. Alrighty, this first lap was real fun, so I'm just going to let you guys watch this from start to finish. Good times. This is what XR Racing is all about.
So for the majority of this race, once I um, got out of this pack, I left the pack behind and there was a pack in front of me. I was kind of on my own and just started pushing numbers, got comfortable in the car. That's JP in front of me, who was co-driving Matty Titani, and I really wanted to catch him, and I was. Every lap, I reckon I had about a second on him when I was catching and gaining, and then the guys put out the pit board, and I'm like, well, fair enough, time to come in, but yeah, it would have been nice to catch JP and uh, overtake him. But anyway, came in, handed the car over to Az, and off we went. helping out um, uh, JP and, and Maddie and, and the girls next door so they're doing like three pit crew jobs it's uh, pretty full on but no nah, that was awesome I had, I had a lot of fun and started getting more speed and started catching the pack in front um, Cass got me and then just I couldn't catch it just too fast um, yeah really good fun man I'm hot it is cooking in that car yeah Unfortunately, the GoPro in the car died uh, with about five minutes left to go on the race, so we didn't capture the end of Aaron's uh, first race. But yeah, he, he battled well, just drove hard, and yeah, brought it home straight, so it was really cool. Good race. Setting up, getting ready to go out. We've got about 10 minutes. The beast is all good. Done some tweaks. 
Good to go, Gary. Good to go, Ryan. Getting her done. Race two, this was an interesting one. When we came in from race one, Aaron was saying the pedal was feeling a bit long, the brake pedal, it wasn't quite what we wanted. So we bled the brakes and it felt pretty good in the pits and then as Aaron was queuing up, he sort of yelled out the window and goes, ah, oh, geez, the pedal feels a bit long. We're like, well, not much we can do about it now, so drive it and if it just gets real bad, then come in. So he went out and it got worse. And basically you'll see here, Aaron's struggling to really pull the car up. You know, he's buzzing the gearbox and sort of scrubbing to, to slow the car down. Um, and I think he did really well considering the brakes just like with every lap just continuously got worse. We're not too sure what happened. We're starting to think it was maybe a master cylinder failure and it was just, it was leaking or the seals had gone or something, but it was, it was tough to drive. So on my stint, I went out knowing the brake pedal wasn't great. And yeah, by the first corner, I was like, oh, wow. And it was like almost to the floorboards. And it got worse and worse with every lap. <laughs> it was full on. So anybody who hasn't driven an XL, if you stomp on the brakes, it will lock up at pretty much any speed. The brakes are actually phenomenal considering how small they are. Um, the brake pedal here, as you can see, we're coming into the corner here and I was buzzing the gearbox and really scrubbing the front tires to try and scrub off speed. Um, near the end of the race, I pretty much had the pedal pushed all the way and it was almost hitting the end stop. So it was, it's pretty much all the way in and you can see just struggling. I'm completely blasting past the apex, not being able to make my apexes and it was showing in my times too. I was like over two seconds slower than before. Um, it's a real shame, there goes JP overtaking me, which is a bummer, it would have been great to finish in front of him. They did fantastic though, they, they did really well, they were way up in the rankings. Um, but yeah, pretty bummed, you know, it's just one of those things, cars fail and you know, the brakes were, brakes were good at the start of the weekend and obviously something's failed and we just didn't have the time to do anything serious about it. So, pushed the car hard, drove as hard as I could with the brakes the way they were. Um, and it is what it is, but it was a hell of an experience sort of driving a car with no brakes on a fast track. <laughs>
that are race. Now remember guys, racing doesn't happen unless we have volunteers out there on flagging stations. Make sure you always give them a thumbs up and a wave and thank them for their time because without these legends, we don't race. And we're done. And it just started raining. How good is the timing? I gave Aaron his car back straight. It's still in good condition. The brakes were a mess. We'll talk about that in a second. But it was a really fun weekend. I'm just going to load it up on the trailer now and we'll uh, have a chat to us. That'll do, pig. That'll do. No, I just showed the nut back. Thanks for all your help today, this weekend. You're awesome. Welcome. You're welcome. You guys have fun? Yeah, fun. Me? Yeah. I had all the, oh my god. I had all <laughs> the fun. That was almost an expensive camera job, that one. Yes, I had all the fun. It was great. What a great bunch of people. What a great track. What a great car. Everything's great. And it's coming up Millhouse. You know what we're gonna go do now? Drink beer. It's not racing tomorrow. Well, I gotta drive back to Melbourne, but don't worry about that. I'm gonna go drink beer and go to the presentation. Shane's been a uh, pit crew for how many teams this weekend? Three? Three, yeah. Three, and this is his towel <laughs> after a shower. Poor bastard's been laying down on the floor, under cars, oh. streamlining everything. Everything. You're the man. We're good though. It was a good weekend? Yeah, so yeah. good. So good. And good boys? Yeah. yeah we'll have a debrief great. for dinner. We're not going to do it now. No, I'm thirsty. I want another beer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of screwing off my beer in there. Oh, well. Let's go to let's go to dinner and go to all that. All right, so we're gonna do a bit of a end of video wrap up. Um, it was a really fun weekend. Um, I did mention earlier that we had problems in the last race with our brakes. And yeah. they, they failed pretty bad. So I don't know, I think it might be master cylinder yeah, or something like that. Some... Basically by the end of uh, my session, I was coming up to turn one and it was like foot all the way to the floorboards. Not much would happen and we're like, it would grip, but it wasn't like, brake brakes because in an XL if you want to lock up you just hit the brakes and it'll lock up and it like I was all the way to the ground but then now and again a disc would just grab and just yank the car one way it was it was pretty disconcerting but you know what it's fine Aaron drove his session I drove my session um, we got to the end we got to the end and yeah. the car's straight Aaron had a little bit of a little biff up not much just a little dive yes, little dive little dive bomb you know uh, a little time. dive bomb which you would have seen in the video and um no it's fine like the car's still straight i handed the car back to aaron straight so you're welcome i guess yeah yeah, was, uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> um, but it was a really fun weekend so we finished yeah. uh 24th in both yep both uh, races, both races. Yeah, yep. so look we're not winning any records we're not we're winning any trophies we're not setting any records but we had a bucket load of fun. We had a bucket load of fun, and you know, out of 35 odd cars, that's fine. You know, yeah. we're we're up there, and we're having a blast, and yeah. it was like really good fun. Thank you so much for no, having me over. You know what? Like, it was so good just to have have you over here. All the guys from South Australia really just welcomed me with open arms, and it was yeah. so good. Oh, the yeah. camaraderie amongst everyone, and just to see people just come through and say, hey. G'day Matt, you know, I've been watching your videos, yeah, it's cool. so cool. Um, he's a very humble man, um, he's, he's, and he's no. just a gentle, gentle person. Oh, the, 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 anyway, <laughs> I get told off, I get told off for being too nice. No, it's not, no, it's not, it's really nice yeah. to hear, like I'm yeah. trying to not be a dick, so it's... it's... <laughs> he hasn't done it yet. Yeah. Although the night's young, they're, they're serving lots of alcohol over yeah, there. Yeah, we're, we're there already could be drinking some, a bit, so. There could be some, yeah, dickery uh, later. <laughs> no, but it was really cool. So, like, and this this place is awesome. Everyone's really cool. We're now at the man doing this dinner, which will show you a bit of footage of. Um, and the end of the season dinner, I, I kind of I want to get more involved in the Victorian side of things. Um, I'm having a little bit of trouble making friends in the Victorian side of things. I do have a few friends there, but maybe I need to make a bit more of an effort. I seem to have more friends in WA and South Australia at the moment. I don't know what's going on with that, but yes, I'm going to make an effort. So, if you're a Victorian watching this and I come up and say hello. Please try and be friendly because I'm trying to make friends in my own state. Don't make me move to WA or South Australia. We'll take him and you'll lose him. <laughs> you might have the Grand Prix. We'll have Maddie. There you go. 
Um, no, it's cool. So thanks, thanks so much, dude. Uh, and awesome, I, I love your car. It is giving me something to aspire to. Um, we both need more power. Yeah, 100%, we do. We do. And that's not yeah. paying your car out. That's no, just a it's fact. A fact. Yeah. It's a fact. Both our cars need more power. Um, but they they drive well. They're super well balanced. This car super well balanced. It looks amazing. Thanks, man. But it is a very very capable car, and it's great to be able to throw a car in the corner and feel confident that it. The understeer and the oversteer can be balanced on the brake and the accelerator. Like you just know exactly what it's going to do. It doesn't do anything dumb, and that's what I'm striving for my car. Like very well balanced but quick. So we will get there. Anyway, we won't jabber on anymore. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, we will do. We'll get back into the build series and making the nugget fast. We now have another another um, bar set of where the car needs to be. Um, and hopefully we might be doing another Enduro in another state, maybe, maybe. I was reached out to, but we'll see. I'm not confirming anything yet, but hopefully we'll do that. That'll be three, and that's amazing. Um, anyway, <laughs> well, Lisa's over here making, making, oh, <laughs> wow. Well, the night is young. <laughs> um, no, thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next episode. Yo, see ya.